Today I'm making pumpkin leaves with peanut butter. We call that Mora in Shona. And I'm serving this with sadza or thick millimel porridge. I also have some lentil stew for protein. Hi guys, it's Lydia. Welcome to another video on Nature Unplugged. If this is your first time here, please press the subscribe button. Also press the bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. The success of this channel is dependent on your support. I'm making pumpkin leaves from my backyard vegetable garden. Pumpkin leaves are rich in vitamin A and C, minerals such as calcium and iron and more. It has lots of fiber too. I will start by peeling off the outer layers of the leaves from the top of the stem going down. If you don't do this, you have hard leaves that won't cook well. I have also washed these leaves before peeling them. After peeling, I've also washed the leaves thoroughly. I want to remove all the dirt and soil. These leaves creep on the ground so they accumulate a lot of soil. Other ingredients I will use are tomatoes, onion, peanut butter, bicarbonate of soda, roughly chop the pumpkin leaves, in a tablespoon of grapeseed oil, I'm frying the onion that I finely chopped. I will fry until the onion is soft and translucent. I'm using only a tablespoon of oil because I'm going to add peanut butter. Peanut butter has got its own oil. Add finely chopped tomatoes and mix well. Let this simmer at medium heat until tomatoes are cooked through. You need to stir this at intervals to ensure that the tomatoes and onions do not stick to the bottom of the pot. And you don't want to bend this. It's cooking well. Now add the pumpkin leaves. You need to mix this well. Now watch the pumpkin leaves shrink. Now add salt. Add bicarbonate of soda. This will make the leaves softer. Mix well and simmer at medium heat for another 10 minutes. You need to continue to stir at intervals just to make sure that the vegetables don't stick to the bottom of the pot. Now 
just a friendly reminder for you to subscribe if you haven't done so also press that bell so that you don't miss out on future videos now i'm adding the peanut butter if you don't want to add peanut butter you can leave it out and continue to simmer for another five minutes Close the pot and let it simmer for a further three minutes. The peanut butter will just melt in the pot. Mix the peanut butter well into the vegetables. This looks delicious already. Test your salt. If it's not enough, please add more. The pumpkin leaves are done now. This looks delicious. I'm serving this with salsa, thick mealy meal, porridge. This is how I make it. I'll mix a cup of mealy meal with one and a half cups of cold water. And then I'll add a liter of boiling water and mix well into a porridge consistency. Bring to boil. Let the porridge simmer at low heat for 15 minutes. After that, you then add more minimal to thicken the porridge. You want to make sure that you don't leave any lumps in there. Keep adding minimal until you get the desired thickness that you want and you want a smooth thick porridge. Let this continue to cook for a further 10 minutes at very low heat. Now time to plate. That's our salsa or thick porridge. I'm now adding the pumpkin leaves in peanut butter. Look how creamy that is. And then I have some lentils, so I'll have that for protein. I normally like beans with this dish, but I don't have bean stew at the moment. And I also like to garnish. I'm garnishing with sesame seeds. If you don't like sesame seeds, you can leave that out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe, share the video with family and friends. Thanks for tuning in guys. Bye bye, see you next week. Thank you for your support.
it means a lot to me.